Hello everybody, it's your boy the Green Tiger coming to with a video which is called Collector's Corner Extra. And I got a couple of I have more than a couple actually I got a um, five packages here and I'm gonna go ahead and unravel them and I'm gonna try to see if I can make it short as possible because most of the videos it, it, like, like every time I do a video about comic book it goes well over 35 or 40 minutes. So I'm hoping that this time it can go a little bit less. We're gonna see how they're gonna work out first. If not, and I might have cut it short, but for the time being, I know you, if you hear the noise in the background, it's because there's neighbors outside there playing a live racket, you know what I'm saying? But it's not intervening with my video, or much less what I'm gonna talk about and break down for you guys. So give me just a few seconds and we can go ahead and get this video done as quick as possible. So, anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Right, here's one here, so I'm going to open this one up here, and here's my box cut, usually that I have. Um, cut it right up here, let me see if I can get it right here. Because I forgot, I had I, I ordered this here back back in July when I when I got it, so I'm not sure I can shoot what's in here, so I'm going to see what it is. Here's because um, I, got, I, got, I got a whole bunch of packages up in it that I haven't opened. I know what most of them are, and I know what most of them are not, so let's see what I have in here. Okay, in a few minutes. Okay, there we go. All right. And they seem to be in, in an envelope here. It's pretty cool, so it keeps it keep it well protected. And they should see, you see it's taped up there. All right. They did a pretty good job with it wrapping it actually. So, and here it is again. So they, they got it kind of like three ways. See, one box, two box, and the third one here. So let's see what's in here. Let's see what it looks like actually. Okay. Oh yeah, I know what this is. This here is and veil number eight. And this is the first appearance. We're well, not worried well, about Ash. Where well, Ash, not the first appearance. It's actually the second appearance of Union Jack. It's in veil, as you can see. Is it? It's in not in the best of condition. So there is a few fine ticks there, and there's some some staples out of place. But um, this book can probably can get pressed. Um. Let me see. This order, this came from. Let me see. Hmm, okay. You know what? Come think about it. I think I'm. I think I do have another Invaders Eight. In in this in, in this in, in this in better condition. I forgot I ordered this one. But I do got I do, I do got another Invaders Eight coming. Like I said, this one here, as you can see, kind of brown, a little bit there, but you can see, in Union Jack. If this this is his second appearance. And you got the invaders here, um, Toro, the Human Torch, Captain America, Bucky, and the Silver Mariner right there. And Union Jack is a new superhero who I think he I think he joined the invaders. I think I, I, I think I think I think this one he joined right here, I believe. It said from from, from the ashes of war, the first British superhero is born. The first British superhero. Oh, it says here, then it says here, by popular demand again. Not on sale monthly, so I'm about to get the first appearance on Union Union Jack. Next, this is number eight. I think I, I think I think this is his second appearance, I believe. And like I said, it's it not it's not in the best of shape because I'm looking at it now, but I probably can get it pressed. I probably I think I think I might get it pressed probably. Cause the pages are the pages are kind of dull. As you can see they dull pages, so they ain't white. They dull. Um, it's actually. Actually, a great, great comic book. There is. I've, I've always had wanted to get. It says here, 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 here in, 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 in the inside illustration, it says Union Jack is back. That's what it says there. And like I said, so like I said, kind of dingy. It's not, it's not in the best of shape, but it's it's okay. It's an okay book. And I, like I said, if I probably can get it pressed, and this would be great worth, uh, worth the wait. All right, on, on to the second one. This one here is from Comics Elite. 
um, got a little weight to it. Not exactly sure what's in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay. Okay. All right. And it empty right there. Okay. And this is one book that I can see. One book. Um, this is supposed to be. Oh, punchline. Okay, I remember this one. Okay, I remember this punchline. Punchline, she, she, she's a superhero that's in, that's in the DC universe. Here, I forgot I ordered this punchline here. So, let me get the, let me get the, um, what you call off of here. Get the, um, the invoice. See, that's the invoice. Put it down there, and here is, here's punchline number one. Punchline. So this is actually a beautiful comic. It's blue and punchline right here. And then there's some more um, people in the back. That's her with some guy there. And then that's her here at the bottom down there. So this actually a beautiful, beautiful design issue. This book cost me um, twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollar book because it is a. Um, it's a it's a variant it's a yeah it's a variant cover see there see see, see you can look there very carefully to get the line up see it's a variant so what you can get a look at and that's what it is actually is i forgot i had i forgot i ordered this this is a beautiful book i like it you know what i'm saying and and most variant issues cost money and this is a, this is a, it's a cost 25 dollars beautiful book and, it's, and, and it's, you see it's in um Special, special holding right there to, to keep the, the book upright, keep it from bending and denting. This, these, these things it costs quite a bit amount of money. I, I mean, you can get these at your nearest comic book store, but it will cost more. It, it may cost about three, probably four bucks, just for this, just for this little thing in here that it keeps the comic book upright. So this, this actually is gorgeous and it's beautiful. That's uh punchline number one. Variant cover. All right, put it down there. See, oh yeah, by the way, as you can see, it says, it says five ninety nine, but it costs twenty twenty five dollars because the fact is, this is this is a variant issue. Beautiful. This is actually my second one. The first one I got is Batman. That's the second one that I, that I bought. That's similar, that's similar to it. All right, here we go. All right, now the third one here. Center there. All right. All right. Coming to read. Nothing inside there. Boss color. Like I say, yeah, like I see, if you hear any noise in the background, it's because I got neighbors outside playing loud music and talking. So they drinking and that's in some speaking. But but I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna let that hold me up because I feel like I do what I gotta do to make these videos. Okay, it's gonna have a weight to it. Seventy five dollars is how much this here costs. Like I said, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm going to find out. <clears throat> Things are on just a few minutes, and let me get the, the packing list off of here. Right, get you right there. I put the boot tape back on there, so bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Here we go. All right. Oh my. 
Yeah, I, I, I remember these now. I remember. Okay, let's get this here on the on the ropes. This is this is a total of six books, and these are some great great books. I can't believe that this is these books. Oh my God, these are some beautiful these are some beautiful books. I'm trying to try to get them in the place them in all that I want to show you. Okay, I'm gonna start with these two first. Um, you guys are quite familiar with the um the milestone, the um, DC milestone run that had back in, in the early early to late nineties and into the um, early two thousands. Milestone had this uh, comic book series, Sonic, me on me, a static icon, um, hardware, um, I forgot Blood Syndicate, all those characters. They all were black characters. The milestone were based off black characters, so. And this further ado, this is icon number two. I got I got number one somewhere in there. I'm not exactly sure what number one is, but this is this is the icon cover number number two. Number two. And here is the variant cover of icon number two. That's gorgeous. That's, that's, that's very, very gorgeous. Icon, icon and rocket number two. They back. And supposed to be a new series coming out. Supposed to be on TV. It hasn't started yet, but I guess it's on the brew because it says season season one. So we see how they go. Icon and Rocket number two. But and secondly, I'm gonna start with these here. This uh this here is Vampirella number twenty three. Dynamite comics. This here is the variant. I mean, I mean, this is the um the standard cover. And this is still the virgin copy. And I ha I really had to get these because these are some very beautiful issues. And as you can see, the, the artwork is gorgeous. I really had to get this because I've, I've always had, had a good fantasization of Vampirella. And this, like I said, here you can see it's kind of shady right here with no color other than, than the name. And this in here had no name, but it had the cover, had the color. Of her skin and the outfit she wears. Vampirella number 23. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. These are, these are, this is very, very, very gorgeous. Oh my god, I really can't believe it. They look, look this beautiful and design. And, 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 and they put them in golden age, silver age um, plastic. That's why that, that would get, that would get that, that beautiful gloss off the light. That is gorgeous. I really love those. Beautiful. Magnificent. And third, I have, um, this is Tyra. Tyra, you know, if you guys remember, if you guys, if you guys familiar with the cars, with the Tyra cars, where, where the lady or man has a certain amount of cars and, and they play the cars and it, it determines your future. Well, this is what this actually is here. Tyra, Witch of the Black Rose. Very nice. Very nice, as you can see. Um, this this is actually a um. This is a a uh, what they call it? Not an art germ, but more like a um an image. That's an image cover, right there. And I forgot what the image cover is is of, but it's an image cover. Number twenty, no, number one twenty nine. What this is? It says studio edition, and this one here is um, Red Agent number. Let's see, number one, I believe. Number one. Very gorgeous. Very gorgeous artwork. I actually, I actually like the artwork on that. Um, lady wears a red suit right there and has a sword there. I, I'm thinking she's a ninja or maybe some type of karate expert. Not exactly sure, but this is actually a great comment. And this also is in Silver Age. Both of you are in Silver Age, Silver Age, um, Golden Age, um, plastic, I mean bagging. And I actually like both of these. I mean, these are some actually some good. These are some some good comics right here. All three of these. I mean, all four of them, five of them, out six rather. Um, the 
Vampirella series, which is which, which what I'm really digging the most. Icon and Rocket, right there. And Red Agent and Tyrock. Tyrock. Nice. Very, very nice. I can't believe these are some, these are some, some, some good very good comments. I paid some good comments right here. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Let me put this back into the um, comic book itself. Put that down now. Hope you enjoyed it so far. All right. Now I got two more to go. And so far, I'm 15 minutes, which is not bad. I'm open. I'm I'm hoping to go as far as 25, and I think I'm going to pay to actually get it. Okay. Whoa. A Joker card. Wow. I like that. And that came, and that came right out the packaging. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but uh, it says three jokers, three jokers. What it said, three jokers on the back of there. It said three jokers on the back there, and then it had that joker on the top there, then Batman on top, B and J. <laughs> you can't beat that. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, here we go. Kind of heavy as well, and 60 bucks. Hmm. Empty. Let's see what we have here. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember, I remember that. Okay, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember what these are now. I remember exactly what these are. Okay, awesome. Bear with me, cause like I said, they put the tape to hold it in place, so bear with me as I get this unraveled. I'm gonna have to cover it up. Bear with us, folks. Okay. Wow. Okay. I got it. Okay. There is. Oh, two, 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 two—the same one. That's not, that's not how that's supposed to be. Let me see why they gave me two of them. I didn't ask for two. It would be one of them. They sent me two. Of the same book. Now, why did they do that? Okay. Okay, all right, okay. I remember these. I can't believe they actually sent two of the same books. Get over there. Mm. All right, anyway. Don't try to put the hold on to it. Too late now, but the invoice don't say it. Let me see it. One. Okay, yeah, it does say that. Okay. They must thought I ordered, they must thought I ordered double. It should have been one. Too late now. Well, anyway, I'm gonna start with this here. This is screen number one. I like that issue. That's screen number one. There's other issues following this, and I think I and, and I think I got, and I think I might have one or two more on the horizon. This in here is the number first issue of screen Extreme Carnage, right there. So that's, that's a good issue. Thin, kind of, kind of a thin book. I like that. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with these three here. Cause the, cause the other two are kind of provocative, but this is not. So let's go ahead and start with this one. This here is Barbara number one. Actually, the entire three set Barbara number one. I had to get that because of, because of how good the costume is and the artwork itself. And then here is the um, Barbara the, 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 
the second is the other other copy is where this the virgin copy right here as you can see same it's the same it's the same it's the same it's the same outfit as you can see yes yeah, you can get the different artwork this one here is um more bold right here as you can see it's more bold that one is and this one here is not as bold but it's a virgin copy because it don't have no name on it so this is a virgin copy which probably which color which probably cost a little bit more than this one but um but i had to get it because i wanted it and then last but not least and this is the other barbara this is the barbara number one this is the um the sketch edition with the name at the bottom name blue and yellow which is the which is the copy of this one as you can see the book the same as you can see this one here is more colorized this one here is not so as you can tell the difference this one here is the sketch edition black and white sketch edition the color edition and the the, the the version edition with no name it just has her with well, well, I'm not exactly what that. I'm not exactly what that is. What that is on her on, on her arm. There's some kind of some type of creature there. But but it's the version copy of the of these two. So. Opera number one. And last but not least, now I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to see how am I gonna do this. Uh, okay, I got it. This one here is okay. Get it right. I mean, okay. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. This is this is a zombie tramp number eighty. Number eighty. And as you can see, the reason why I got this copy on top because this is the naughty edition. She has she topless. See how she wearing. See see how she has this here on to cover in, in to cover the nudity. This book here is nudity. I put it that way. So, like I said in two or three, two of my videos, I think I posted something similar to this. I said that if, um, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Just a minute. I got a better idea how I can do this so y'all get a better look of what I am trying to improvise. Just a minute here. Then I can get to show you both copies. Give me a minute. Okay, right there. And right here. Put that there. Hold up. That way y'all can see what I'm talking about. Um, YouTube got a policy to if you show any nudity or anything purveying, they will lock your account up. Okay, here we go. All right. Now, that's more better. There we go. Now, see, see, see what I'm saying? This is the nudity copy, but as you can see, I cover up the major parts of the, of the, of the nudity area so it, so it make it easy and visible to see. And this one here is the exact different version of that one. But they're both, both the same version, but they both, uh, this is the naughty edition and this is the non naughty edition so as you can see zambi tramp number 80 and, and as you can see i cover them up because I, I do not want my account locked up youtube will take your videos off if you show anything uh than what you're supposed to show so zombie tramp 80 not clean and naughty edition barbaretta the first few issues of barbaretta one two and three and extreme carnage screen all right there we go perfect all right one more one more to go it's the last one and so far i'm gone so far i'm over 20 i'm, I'm getting close i'm closing on 20 closing on 25 25 um minutes into the video which is good which is good like I said, I don't want, I don't want to go over 40. So. I don't want to tell it. Drop it up. That's okay. This one here ain't got 
This one don't got, don't got too many in it. So it's only on it's, it's, it's only a little. It's only a little. Yeah, and not much in this one. Which is good. Which is very, 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 very good. Put that one hold on. Okay, alright. That one go down here with that one. Alright, here we go. Once again, the blue tape. So, bear witness. Let's see what I have here. Okay, alright, I know what this is. Alright. That issue, that issue, it, it's it kind of top of the line right now. Okay, all right. I'm gonna work for. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. And I got some other issues in there. And this here is Static Season One Number Three. I got some more. I got some. I got some other issues in there of Static. Right, actually, I do got Static Number One put away. So in my other one of other emeralds I got in there, I got Static Number Two. But this is Static Number Three. As you can see, this is the um the version edition, the version copy. This is the this is, this is the variant cover here, as you can see, and this is the standard edition, right there, static. Um, yeah, like I told, like I missed to you guys about, about milestone, milestone. I'm trying to make a strong comeback here, and this and this, this is the new static. And like I said, and, and one of my videos deeper down into into the um months. Probably around midpoint of the year, I um I, I did a video on that number one. You sh it should be in your in, in my um uh, video session. If you scroll on down, you'll see it. it's in one of the collectors one the one of the um collectors corner series. I think it's the first. I think the, I think I think I think it's the, I think it's, I think it's series two. I mean, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, series one. Check out series one. In entire series of, of collectors corner in Europe, and you should sure find it, but you're going to have to do some video session to find it. But I did do one, all right. Put that put them to the side, and uh, secondly, uh, here is um, this is Harley Quinn annual, and this is and this, the variant edition. It's Harley Quinn. See, you see, variant, see the little black, the little black label right there. And that, 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 that mean variant, variant cover of Harley Quinn. Beautiful issue, beautiful paint, painted artwork there. Painted artwork, nice. I'm a big fan of Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is probably one of the most sexy villains ever DC has ever made. And then and here is Moon Knight number one. This is uh, part of the uh, the Moon Knight. I think I, I think I, I think I got some Moon Knight. I think I, I posted. A video of some Moon Knight books that I ordered. Um, is the um, is it is an image cover of one of the Spider Man books. Um, and I also got some other Moon Knight books. They and they all they all the same title, but this one here is um, this the second printing of number one of the first issue that I showed you guys. So this second printing, see the second printing right there, in black writing, second printing. And this is this is a great cover. I like this cover. It's a beautiful cover there. Um, look like look like he's caught in in, in a storm. I see thunder and lightning like it's striking him. So he's caught in the storm. 
That's the great issue of Moon Knight. And last but not least, this is the book that that a lot of people have been trying to get. This is the first edition. First, this is a, this is a, not, not the variant issue. It's the first edition of this series. Um, this here is Dark Ages. Dark Ages number one. This this book, this, this, this title right here is hot right now. Um, if you get this issue, you might want to pay like $25, $30 for it. And I only paid the, the regular price, which is $4.99, 5 bucks for this issue. But if you go online right now, you might find the book a little bit pricey because it it's rising up the the, the, the comic book market um had spider-man um like wolverine hulk iron man the invisible woman there like that what i'm seeing there and this is a, this is a, this is a great series actually this is volume one i don't think i mean this this is um first did first um printing i don't think i don't think i don't think there's a second printing of this out this issue yet out yet it may be but I'm not exactly sure but the Dark Ages number one is a hot book right now and it's rising up the markets. So that's why I want that one. This is that's the last one I want to show you guys. So hope you enjoy my videos. I'm over so far I've crossed 30 minutes, which is not bad. I guess I want to do I want 35 35 35 minutes or less. And so I have broke I have broke that mark and I'm good. So without any further ado, I hope you hope you enjoy my video. Um so you can comment, share, subscribe, and um, share the video. Uh, hold on. Comment, share, like, and subscribe. Please subscribe to the video. Please subscribe to my, my channel. Like the video, comment, and share. It's very important that you guys share. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how many times I can say it, I can say it in every video or in every video today. I think I did say I think I messed up, but, but you get the point. Anyway, this is your boy, The Green Talents. Comic Collector's Corner Extra. Peace. One love.